morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community Oceania Hundoke. Today is uh, Saturday, the 4th of November, 2023, or the 21st of September in the 11th year of Chongokuk. And we are together with Reverend Yutaki Yamada, who will uh, share with us this morning. So let's begin with a bow to our true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind, Chanji Champuninge Kyombe. And uh, let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Hajomense Sa Chonikuk Chuin Uri Kajogun Cham Sarangil Chunshimago Hanil Pumonime Chanjo Isain Chonju Te Kajogal Hyonso Hayo Chayua Pyonghawa Tonilwa Hemboge Segeru Wanso Hai Kosru Mense Hanaida. Family pledge number four. Our family, the owner of Chongil Group, pledges to build a universal family encompassing heaven and earth, which is the heavenly parents' ideal of creation, and perfect the world of freedom, peace, unity, and happiness by centering on true love. Uh, just uh, join me, I'll offer the opening prayer. Our most beloved Heavenly Parent, we're truly grateful to be able to come together every morning to offer you our heart, our love, our devotion, as not just individually, but as a community, yeah, as members, as blessed members who are recognize and understand the value of true parents, recognize and uh, our mother as the only begotten daughter, recognize that yeah, as blessed families, we are part of your lineage. We are no longer connected to the satanic realm, but have fully given ourselves to be a part of your heavenly family. So we're grateful to be able to come together to really pray for you know, this nation so that Australia can become restored, that we can pray also for our, the homeland of our true parents can be finally reunited and you know, as one nation of Korea and become you know, the fulfill its responsibility as the the chosen nation. Yeah, you know, the, the Korean people are the, the 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 Israel of today. They represent you know the birthplace of our true parents and also you know, are, are the central nation you know, under God's providence today. So we really pray that you know, we can truly support and love them and and really do our best in realizing your desire to build your kingdom here upon this earth. So thank you for your guidance and, and we ask for your presence as we offer you this morning together. We report this in our names, John and Shizuram is a blessed central family. Archie. Thank you. And uh, let's give a, a warm welcome to Reverend Yutaka as he shares this morning. Good morning, Navarana sisters. Thank you for joining today's morning from uh, the Today is also the beautiful moment of beginning of the day. Uh, every day or every week, there are many things also happening, like Ukraine and Russia, or Israel and Palestine, and also in terms of political and historical content. There is also the fact that many children and innocent people are being sacrificed. So under those kind of the world situation, actually, heaven is wishing all people will stand as the children of God and come back together as the family. So how we can fulfill those heavenly parents' will and true parents' will. So today also, let's offer the chanson and prayer, and let's go forward to fulfill those God's will. So thank you. So next Wednesday, uh, we will have the 1,000 days uh, Oceania uh, morning 
So when we try to fulfill the providential goal, we will, of course, doing many kind of the, uh, public activities, but as the foundation, we will also offer the chanson and the creating the internal condition. So always uh, let's establish the internal condition in front of heavenly parents and true parents, especially let's also unite with our true mother and fulfill all God's providence. So next week, please also join well. Thank you. So I'd like to share the photo. So yesterday uh, we are joining always the Choshman prayer. So thank you for joining. This is from Sydney. And I believe everyone also joining through Zoom or in each center or in each churches. So our Chonshimon prayer uh, is one of the main emphasis point of our true mother. Now already time has come. Spiritual world and physical world are working together. True father is mobilizing from the spiritual world together with uh, all good spirit. And True Mother is reading the all providence from physical world. So through unity between spiritual world and physical world, and we will open the way to fulfill God's will. So thank you for your attendance also. And finally, uh, today, in C this is also Sydney side. Uh, we are organizing about Chinese People's Federation event, Feral Piety Family uh, festival. So this is centering on also filial piety. Let's also support and pray for all these things. So anyway, thank you our brothers and sisters to invest your uh, God's will in each place. Let's continue to do uh, centering on our heavenly parent. So thank you. Today, uh, we will continue to read our true mother's anthology volume 3, Chani Cook and our mission. And this, now we are reading this chapter two, our uh, challenge at this time, building a world of lasting peace. So today's Hundok is the last part of this speech. So let's read together. Mrs. Na, please. Media activities and the International Highway Project. In the current time, the age of women, women have a central role in God's providence not only as wives, mothers, sisters, and daughters, but also as leaders and equal participants in all fields of human endeavor. In 1992, we founded the Women's Federation for World Peace to develop a global network of women dedicated to building God-centered families and a world of global peace. Shortly before my husband passed away, we launched the Global Women's Peace Network building on the foundation of Women's Federation for World Peace as an able women's UN. WFWP has chapters around the world with active volunteers engaged in developing schools, orphanages, and a wide range of humanitarian initiatives. Yes, thank you. Tirumana is giving this speech in World Summit 2014. And during this speech, Tirumada is explaining about unification movement or peace movement, which was led by our true parents. There are many investments in each nation or each continent and also explaining uh, those activities. And in this part, in order to liberate women and also sharing the role and the original responsibility of women, and also explaining about the activity of Women's Federation for World Peace, how precious each activity is. And this whole activity is still continued in each nation. Please. Throughout much of human history and virtually all societies, women have been subjected to discrimination and mistreatment. In recent decades, however, women and men throughout the world are committed to turning the page on this unfortunate history. Increasingly, all people realize that a woman, that as women are given encouragement and equal access to better 
education, and as they take on positions of responsibility in all sectors, our world improves. Wherever women are excluded or suppressed, social, political, economic, and even spiritual development is held back. Yes, thank you. Mother said, throughout much of human history, in virtually all societies, women have been subjected to discrimination and mistreatment. So this is the reality. In the history, this kind of things was happened, and even the current society. Of course, there is kind of the liberation of women compared to before, but still depends on the nation and culture. Some nation, our women are mistreated and also still going on about discrimination. How women can be liberated. But Tirumada is not talking for women to be strong like men. Tirumada is emphasizing our movement of women is to restore the original men's position and original women's position. Men help to women, women help to men, and each person have to play the original role as men and women. This is important. And the Women's Federation is emphasizing for women to become true mother, true wife, true sisters, and true daughters, and to lead those women's movement. So through doing the Women's Federation activities, always we should not forget those founding wishes and also the purpose of Women's Federation for One Peace. Please. A responsible mass media. In keeping with our vision of peace, my husband and I founded the Washington Times in 1982. For more than 30 years, the Washington Times has upheld the highest journalistic standards and affirmed universal values of faith, family, freedom, and service. As acknowledged by leaders such as Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher, it was instrumental in helping bring an end to the Cold War. It continues to be a leading voice of truthful and responsible journalism. Yes, thank you. And also Three Parents has been investing in the activity of media. Many people is listening or believing the media's word is true. But this is really uh, important point. How much this media's influence is big and depends on media, even the direction of nation will be influenced or changed. That's why how media can give the light information to the people which heaven is wishing and how we can guide or how three parents guide the media to go to the light way. That's why True Parents is investing those movement of media. So in each nation, we should really reflect and we should see this movement of media and we have to think how to guide and how to educate. And even we have to think and make a plan or strategy about media activities. Please. In 1996, with this same vision, we established Team Post del Mundo, beginning in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and expanding to 16 nations throughout South and Central America. Here in Korea, we have the Sege Ibo World Times. In Japan, we established the Sigai Nibo. These media establishments are dedicated to the highest standards of professional journalism while upholding values of faith, family, freedom, and service. Yes, the parent established many uh, newspaper company or even the media company in Korea, America, Japan, or South America, or even another area. 
So we should continue uh, those also activities. Okay, next please. An international tunnel and highway project. As we work to build a world of peace and prosperity, trade and commerce play a central role. Since 1981, we have been proposing the development of an international highway, rail and tunnel system that would connect this, the entire world. We are working to build a tunnel connecting Japan and Korea and have proposed a rail and tunnel system across the Bering Strait, connecting North America with Russia. Yes, Trimada is introducing about the International Highway Project, which will connect all nations by one road. So when we think about the International Highway Project, we don't do just as activity or as the project. Through the things, three parents try to establish the vision of one family under God. So because of the border of the nation or religion or races or culture, how miserable things is happening in each place. There is conflict or separation or division. That's why in order to fulfill God's will, we will do the action beyond those borders and the separation and fulfill the unity and also harmony. How we can testify our heavenly parent and three parent vision through this international highway project and this movement. And through these things, people, people can recognize and people also can join this world peace movement. Please. Trade and commerce have always been instruments of peace that bring people of diverse cultures and civilizations into a relationship with one another. Like a global Silk Road, the International Highway and Tunnel Project will allow commerce to flow over land and through tunnels from the southern tip of Argentina to Cape Town in South Africa and from Moscow to New York. Yes, if... There is no concept of conflict or struggle or selfishness or individualism. Then how beautiful those connection of all nation by one road. All people in the world come together as one family beyond the nation or beyond the concept of the nation or culture and stay together as family. Exactly, we are aiming those kind of the world as one family. Please. Our work continues. Even during the most difficult of, difficult of times, my husband and I continued our endeavors. We seized every opportunity to convey God's message to the world. Sometimes it seems it seemed as if we were spending our entire lives either in an airplane or on a stage. We traveled to nearly every country on the face of the earth, conveying God's word. I recall that many times my husband spoke until his throat was sore. In his later years, we had to keep an oxygen tank and ambulance on standby as he spoke in the mountainous regions of South America or Central Asia. Yes, thank you. I will read again. Even during the most difficult of times, my husband and I continued our endeavor. We seized every opportunity to convey God's message to the world. Sometimes it seemed as if we were spending our entire lives either in an airplane or on a stage. We travel to nearly every country on the face of the earth, conveying God's word. So anyway, our three parents continuously conveying the God's will and God's message and share the heart of God or will of God. This is actually life of our true parents. So even true father, until 
almost the last moment of going to the spiritual world. Continuously, he met the people, went to the world, and conveyed the message, even not, uh, not kind of the return back his physical body or physical life. So this life is our true parents' life. Please. My husband never rested with the East. Only um, one day he was in the East, the next day he was in the West. Most people would find it exhausting to do even one of the many tasks he carried out. Day by day, we saw the vision of a peaceful world through ideal families miraculously take form before our eyes. Despite his part parched lips and swollen legs, my husband offered prayers of thanks to God. Yes, this is the true parents' life. They never take a rest or stop one place. Peace. After we founded the Universal Peace Federation in 2005, my husband initiated a world tour to 120 countries visiting one country each day to share his vision of peace, even at the risk of his life. At that time and continuing throughout 2006, we, along with many of our children and even grandchildren, spoke to audiences in nearly every nation of the world. Yes, thank you. So our true father and, of course, true mother together, after founding... found founding of Universal Peace Federation, the Attitude Parents organized a lot of conferences in the world. So Attitude Parents try to visit all nations in the world. And they really wanted to see the people as God children, and Attitude Parents also wanted to see everyone as their parents and try to love and embrace. So Attitude Parents is the historical figure that's why in each nation, at least three parents visited directly and to make direct connection with happy parent and also three parents. Through our three parents' life course, we could see our three parents' love and heart, how much, how deep it is. They are thinking about all people in the nation more than their physical body or health how they try to love the heaven's children. So only with this kind of heart, their parents offer the whole life for God and also the human beings. Please. The providential path of the true parents of humankind is a long and arduous one, like navigating a ship through a terrifying storm. Yet, despite the challenges we face, the obstacles have been overcome and countless substantial activities that expand this vision are being carried out and making an impact all over the world. This global foundation for peace is now secure and growing each and every day. Yes, when True Parents uh, has started the Providence, who recognized the existence of true parents and also appearance of true parents and who could understand the meaning of God's providence and helped our true parents and also the God's providence. Originally, true parents have to stand on the national level foundation or world level foundation, but because of the failureness or unfulfillment of the responsibility of the central figure in each times, three parents could not stand or could not be welcomed at the national or global level. So when they started the providence, they started from zero foundation or even the minus or negative position. That's why how also painful or how suffering it is. But all things three parents digested and reaching until this place, please. Since my husband's passing, our work has continued without any pause. 
In fact, it has only intensified. One very important development has been the creation of a constitution that provides the basis for the rule of law within our global movement, known as Chunung Kuk, a nation where two become one. My husband had continuously talked about Chunung Kuk and the need for a constitution. Work on the Chunung Kuk con constitution had begun prior to his ascension and was completed this year and offered to heaven on Foundation Day 2014. The Constitution, centered on God and true parents, sets up a Supreme Council and five branches of governance. This will assure a just, stable and prosperous future. Yes, thank you. So how was our true mother's life course after true father went to the spiritual world? True mother also could not have the rest because true mother came on this earth as only begotten daughter and also the mission of the true parents. True father and true mother came on this earth and have to fulfill and conclude the all providence that's why now, since True Father went to the spiritual world already, who should conclude all the providence? Only True Mother have to do and also conclude this God's providence. So under the heaven's wish and under those kind of circumstances, how much also Mother is going this way with shedding blood and sweat and tears. So we also could recognize heart of our true mother and investment of true mother. Even anyone say something to our true mother, but there is heaven's will, even there is our true father's will in this place. That's why true mother also cannot stop. And only the way to continue all the providence until the reaching the goal. So this is our true mother's life in current situation and until last day of true mother's life on this earth. Please. Recently, I traveled to Switzerland, a place where my husband and I had visited on several occasions for speaking engagements, either at the United Nations or other venues. On this visit, I took time to go to 12 of the highest mountains in the Swiss Alps to pray, reflect and meditate and to draw close in spirit to my husband. I feel close to him each and every day. Yes, after True Father went to the spiritual world, True Mother uh, is visiting the each place in the world and also pray and offer the chanson and seeking the heart of our true father and true mother spent the special chanson condition for three years. And through communicating and uniting our true father and also now leading the old province. Please. Respected World Summit participants, my husband and I have lived our lives according to the guidance of heaven. Called by God to embrace all humanity with the heart of true parents, we have invested our entire being for the sake of God's liberation, the salvation of humankind, and the realization of a peaceful world. We have faced many challenges and tribulations on this path, but we have been un undeterred in carrying out our heavenly mission. Yes, thank you. This is True Mother's proclamation. I will read again. Respected World Summit participants, my husband and I have lived our lives according to the guidance of heaven, called by God to embrace our humanity with the heart of true parents. We have invested our entire being for the sake of God's revelation, the salvation of humankind, and the realization of a peaceful world. So mother is proclaiming, who am I and what I am doing? So in the place of the world summit, that guest 
is like head of state level or top leader of the religion or even any sectors or field. And in front of those who are the leaders, true mother clearly testify and proclaim who is true parents and what is God's will and what is our direction. So we could see our true parents, true mother's declaration and also deliver or proclaiming this God's will. Please. I pray that we can work together in this great mission to build a unified world of peace and prosperity as one family under God. Please do everything you can to renew and transform your nations and build a world of lasting peace as envisioned by God from the beginning of time. Such a world goes beyond the divisions of religion, race, ethnicity, and nationality. God's ideal world is a borderless world of freedom, peace, unity, and happiness. Yes, Mother said, I pray that we can work together in this great mission to build a unified world of peace and prosperity as one family under God. So Mother is encouraging and asking all leaders to work together to fulfill God's will and the vision as one family under God. So this is the last slide, please. I pray that the World Summit will serve as an important turning point for all the people of the world. Next year at World Summit 2015, we will present the Sun Huck Peace Prize to an individual or institution that best embodies the principles of peace that my husband and I have espoused in accordance with God's will. Your input and recommendations are most welcome. I invite you all to take up this challenge of building a new world of universal peace. Let us all stand together as one and build one family under God. May God's blessings be with every one of you, your families and your nations. Yes, thank you very much. So how do you feel and how about the mother's speech? So this speech was given in the World Summit in front of the world leaders. Maybe time is not so much long. Maybe short message around 30 minutes or 40 minutes, but during this speech, already mother will mother is explaining from the beginning of the human history or even the current suffering situation and meaning of heavenly parent, even the existence of three parents, and even all peaceful peace movement centering on our three parents and even our goal for humanity. So through 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 mother's speech, we can learn how to testify, how to educate the people. We are doing the witnessing activity and we need to also have many kind of lecture contents, but we can see our true mother's message. Short time, but there are so many things inside of speech and explaining everything from the beginning until the end. There is the heaven's will and there is the prepared person or there is also the righteous person in our each place how we can work together with them and how we can fulfill and develop God's providence with them. So in each place, uh, there is our role and responsibility. When we see our world situation, still there are many confusion and many people are under suffering or even the trial, but in this kind of time. Centering on our true mother, we should become the body of the hope. And also, we will testify our heavenly parents and true parents, and we will lead the way of building the world everlasting peace. So today, also this moment is the beginning of the moment of day. Let's prepare ourselves and connect with our heart of our heavenly parents and true parents, and let's create a beautiful day. So thank you for joining today's Morning Hundokei. Have a great day and have a good week. And 
and prepare the next week. Thank you very much once again. Kamsamida. Kamsamida. Thank you very much for Yutaka. As always, uh, yeah, really uh, sharing with us our, our true parents' uh, heart, uh, especially at this time, you know, as we you know, see the world in uh, in such conflict. It really needs uh, true parents. And uh, in the speech, I was just uh, thinking about uh, you know, uh, you know, God's liberation. Uh, that really uh, uh, God is longing uh, to embrace all of humanity and, and that Women's Federation for World Peace was set up yeah, as, as one of the, the ways yeah, to bring peace and, and to really liberate God's heart and help uh, yeah, the, the, all of humanity finally become one family under God. And uh, it was interesting uh, to see... Uh, the Global Women's Peace Network uh, being described as the Able Women's UN, uh, that yeah, it's uh, sort of one of its roles uh, alongside uh, Women's Federation is to you know, guide media uh, and to guide media and you know, to, to basically uh, in, in a way that it uh, highlights uh, faith, family, freedom, and service was uh, the the what I understood you know, uh, was needed you know, by media, uh, and that media is you know, really uh, responsible for changing uh, the mood and concept of people, because uh, uh, really media is uh, how we get information. And we need, you know, uh, obviously correct information. And we've seen the media, you know, how it's changed uh, opinion you know, in Japan uh, and how it, it changes opinion, not just in Japan, but around the world. Uh, and that, you know, the you know, Global Women's Peace Network is sort of like elevating uh, you know, the Women's Federation to sort of a, a higher you know, global uh, you know, as as it has the word global in its name, you know, level. So it's no longer just you know, helping women in their families and nation, but you know, women together around the world you know, to really uh, stand up as you know, their rightful place, as you know, equal partners in the world, uh, together alongside men. And we, you know, we know, you know that you know, the world is dominated by men and that men occupy many of the leadership positions, but uh, for real peace to come about, you know, we need to end the conflict and women have always had the, the role of being the uh, unifying element within the family. And so I, I see this as uh, you know, this Global Women's Peace Network as you know, uh, another means yeah, for uh, yeah, changing you know, the hearts of men uh, so that we do you know, treat uh, everyone the same and are one family. So I was sort of you know, just thinking uh, like that today when I was listening to the, the message. And uh, thank you, uh, Reverend Yutaka, and open up to others who'd like to share. Thank you. Uh, yes, Chris, go ahead. Debbie's wondering if anyone knows about the progress of the tunnel. Uh -huh. Yeah. The, the, the one between Japan and Korea, particularly. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what, where it's at at the moment. 
uh, if it's uh, affected by you know, what's happening in Japan, uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, do you know, Reverend Yataka, anything? Yeah, I think maybe a few years ago, already some Korean political leader near uh, the tunnel area, uh, through the election, I think they won. But every time one side is supporting, then Japan side is not supporting. One side supporting, the other side is not supporting. But still, the action or activity is going on and initiation is going on. But in order to complete this tunnel, without supporting of both government, this is really not easy. That's why uh, those efforts should be coming together. So anyway, this situation. Thank you. So it's an ongoing effort. So not yet. <laughs> uh, yes, Candice, go ahead. I just want to... Um recall um, when Dr. Yong was the Oceania um, Continental Director over here, can you remember everyone getting um, a country? We all had a lottery and we all got countries to look after. I can't remember if you guys remember that, but our family um, particularly um, got, um, sorry, got um, Jordan and North Korea, because he had two. So I'm just letting you know, those are our countries, our family's countries. <laughs> and it's literally some of the worst places in the world. <laughs> you know, we we drew the, the, the North Korea, the first lottery, and the second lottery, um, well, he drew them, uh, was Jordan. So... We need to get moving, obviously, because there's <laughs> too many fights going down. And um, yeah, that's that's in my heart. I'm constantly thinking of those two areas and um, praying for them. But yeah, I haven't won at all. So <laughs> yeah, just letting you know that. I wonder if anyone else have thought of that. Did anyone else remember all that? Yeah, there was a number of times where, where, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yes, there was a, a time, yeah, yeah, with when Dr. Yong was here and and that, but it wasn't just uh, like Dr. Yong's initiative or, or that. It was actually no. uh, it came from true parents, and uh, it. Uh, I remember being uh, in uh, Korea. Uh, and uh, you know, with Dr. Yong and, and the leadership there and going to meetings where you know, everyone was you know, asked to choose areas, not just around the world, but also areas around uh, Korea itself. Uh, and I remember getting uh, one area in Korea, I think it's in, it's in near Seoul, uh, and, uh, and its name basically uh, uh, is like one. It's sort of, sort of like the, the name of, you know, like the money. <laughs> and it was like that that area name was, sort of, you know, sort of like that name. And, and yeah, and getting getting interesting countries in Europe, like Switzerland and things. And, yeah, and also, you yeah, know, told, you know, uh, you really need to focus on 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 that. But, yeah, yeah, that it was a few times uh, that uh, we were given... Uh, like designation to be responsible or or help, uh, yeah, it's certain, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think we should give up on these these no. that was given to us because Spirit World gave it to us, and yeah. um, I, I I do think as a family we should still at least pray for that area, yeah. and um, if you can go over there. And so I want to go over to Jordan. I'm going. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I actually at at the time just the uh, uh, I went to that city one and 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 uh, uh, and spoke to the uh, uh, the um, the uh, city leader or the the leader in that area and asked you know, how could I come and help uh, and uh, he. he 
basically said, well, uh, yeah, 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 uh, what we need is is finance. So if you can you can send money, uh, then that would be a great help. And uh, uh, anyway, uh, that was that that was uh, the yeah. so that was the uh, answer I got from another country as well, that's saying I you can't speak the, the language, so just just send money. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we actually went down to Naju, which is right down the south. This is after I we drew Naju. And exactly the same thing happened there. We went, our whole family went down there, Ross included, and like we were sick from, Ross was sick from the Korean food <laughs> at um, Chongpyong. So he was very ill. And um, yeah, the, the only person who could speak English were the Filipinos. And uh, they were blessed to um, the Korean men. This is in a church. We went and stayed at the church. And the only thing the leader wanted was money. Yeah. as well so <laughs> yeah yeah I mean it, it is good that we met them and you know it's amazing how we've had this experience you know if you take it seriously yeah, yeah that's true thank yeah. you Candice I can see Roa has a hand up go ahead Yes, Your voice seems to be really, really soft. I need to get closer to the microphone or something. Hello? Still not, no, it, it's... Is this better? You sound very, very far away. Hello? Sorry, still can't hear you. No. How about this? No, better, better. Okay. Good morning, Rabbi Tata. Yeah, I'm just grateful to have the parents and to parents that I was witnessed when I was 16. Like, for me, like the liberation of women, like mother was talking about. For myself, okay. <laughs> like uh, being uh, being able to be guided by the principal, by my leaders, by brothers and sisters, like uncles and aunties. Like for me, that when I started my family, I was just really grateful for having parents and your parents that I was not really interested in what people have experienced in any like abuse or difficulties, exploitations, and many other things. I didn't experience those things, and as I started a family, I have started a family where like I keep myself, I save myself from my spouse, my spouse and himself. For me, and, uh, and then like we started the family with, and we have received a blessing and learned a time in life. And it's, um, it's really liberating for women to know that in order for them to really feel like they're a real woman and a love woman, they need to find a, a good spouse, a better spouse. And so I'm always grateful that, you know, in my kind of character, uh, Family Parent gave me Robert, very how to say, so he's so humble, he's so how to say, uh, very patient and really loves me so much. So, you know, having the blessing and being able to start family for me is really a great liberation for me, liberation for many women. So, I hope one day many young girls and many women will know the way of the principle and the way of the blessing and the way to start like, the family centering on that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. To so really appreciate uh, a spouse and way of the blessing. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Wright, go ahead. Uh, I have a short message about uh, Tonel and uh, 
<clears throat> so Chris asking uh, how it's going with Tonel and uh, Levan Yutaka replying. But uh, actually, uh, not easy to build. But uh, uh, when we, you know, think about other tunnel, like uh, uh, in a Gada, it's a Hamas built a digging a tunnel. Its a length is a one thousand two hundred forty kilometer, like from Melbourne to modern Sydney, like a Newcastle. <laughs> so they. Uh, also, example, uh, North Korea built a tunnel, and uh, uh, but uh, that kind of tunnel was built with hate, uh, kill other people, and uh, destroy other people, and uh, or tunnel is uh, built at such a one thousand two hundred forty kilometer. Uh, what is really how much? It's a really energy and also hate, and uh, it is incredible. That is a uh, one of the reality. It's uh, we human being facing, and uh, but uh, like uh, to me, uh, to fathers, to parents, uh, propose this is a highway to build to, to reach to the all nation. It's really a good motivation. It's a good heart. It's a true love to uh, build a. Uh, a piece, it's a totally uh, different of, uh, motivation, but really uh, uh, to build uh, uh, that kind of highways uh, need uh, incredible effort and uh, need love for love. So they, uh, I think this can uh, propose it is great and we pray for one day can be done. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Rai. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, uh, time now for us to offer our unison prayer. So I'll just uh, share the screen. Okay. Uh, let's pray together. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker, and thank you, everyone, and see you all again tomorrow. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you very much, Tara. I think you have to rest today. <laughs> well, we, we, we have an event today. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> today.